Hi, it's Deja Yetmir from CrochetEverAfter.com and I'm going to show you how to join your foundation treble crochet in the round. So without using a tapestry needle or any other implement, you're going to be able to crochet your foundation treble crochet right in the round so you can keep on working. So let me show you how to do that right now. Alright, I'm here to show you how to join your foundation treble crochet in the round. And if you were doing just a regular round and you went to join it, um, a regular round treble crochet, you would join of course in the top of your chain 4 at the beginning of the round. And that is this guy right here. And I would just slip stitch to join. Unfortunately, when we do this, on a foundation treble crochet, you can see that our foundation chain is not joined. We just have this big gap. Some tutorials will just say grab a tapestry needle and tie it off and sew this together, but that's a little bit extra work than I want to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it just by crocheting so you don't have to worry about the tapestry needle. There are just a couple steps to remember so that you can do this. Now, what you want to do is, however many foundation treble crochets they tell you to make before you're joining your round, make one less. So I have 11 here, and I'm pretending that my pattern is telling me to make 12 foundation treble crochets. So I'm going to make 11, and then I'm going to begin my 12th, and that's when I'm going to join my round. So I'm going to start off my 12th by yarning over twice, and inserting my hook into my foundation chain and pulling up the loop. And I want to stop right there and I want to join my foundation portion, my foundation chain portion of my round. So I just bend it in half to bring it to me and I'm going to insert my hook through the very first chain that I made down at the bottom right next to my slip knot. So I insert my hook through there and then I'm going to take my working yarn and yarn over and pull through that hole for my chain and pull through that first loop on my hook to finish that foundation chain off. So I just finished my 12th foundation chain while joining the foundation chain portion of my foundation treble crochet. Now I'm going to make my 12th treble crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and go through two loops at a time until my treble is complete. So now I have finished that 12th treble crochet and I'm ready to join the treble portion of my round. So I just go right through the fourth chain at the top of my round and slip stitch. And I finish my join. So now I have a joined foundation treble crochet. So let me go through the steps one more time so that you can see them again. So I'm going to yarn over twice and insert into my foundation chain. And then yarn over and pull up that loop and that's where I stop. So remember I'm working, I'm beginning the very final foundation treble crochet that I need for my round. Now I bring my ends together Make sure you're not twisted. Just fold it in half is kind of the easiest way that I find. And then you're going to insert your hook from front to back into that very first chain to join your foundation chain. So I insert it in, take my working yarn, yarn over, and then I'm going to pull through that foundation chain and pull through my 12th foundation chain. So I made my 12th foundation chain right there. I'm going to finish my treble crochet and join that to my round. So I go into the fourth chain up at the top and slip stitch in there. Now I have my foundation treble crochet joined in the round without any tapestry needles. And that is how you do it. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, or any request, leave those below too and I will get right on those. Thanks a lot.